We'll turn now to John Dickerson, our CBS News political director and the anchor of Face the Nation. John, it's hard to imagine how anyone could offend both the pro-choice and pro-life sides of this argument at the same time, but Donald Trump has managed. Where does this leave him? Yeah, it's a rare trick to do both. And this also underscores a criticism of him, which is that Donald Trump hasn't fought through the important issues. But even though he has now reversed himself, the idea of punishing a woman for an abortion, even under hypothetical circumstances, is not something even the most pro-life advocates talk about. And it may exacerbate a problem that Trump has with women voters, which has been the topic of conversation in Republican circles all week. Trump has a deficit of 44 points among women. To put that into a historical perspective, Mitt Romney, four years ago, had a deficit of just 13 points. And given those numbers, even some of Trump's supporters wonder why this week he's defended his campaign manager in uh, an altercation with a female reporter by questioning the truthfulness of that reporter and carried on his public feud with Fox's Megyn Kelly. As a sign of how his opponents are trying to take advantage of this, Ted Cruz held an event in Wisconsin with his wife, his mother, and former candidate Carly Fiorina. He called it a celebration of women. John Dickerson, our CBS News political director, will be watching Face the Nation on Sunday. Thanks, John.